The Vickers Valiant was one of the three British V bombers, designed to carry nuclear weapons. It was a high altitude jet bomber, and was the first of the V bombers to become operational. It is the only V bomber that actually dropped armed nuclear weapons. In 1947, Specification B 3546 was issued to aviation companies, which called for a medium range bomber land plane, capable of carrying one 10,000 pound bomb to a target 1,500 nautical miles from a base anywhere in the world. A cruising speed of 580 miles per hour at between 35,000 feet and 50,000 feet was required. The 10,000 pound bomb was specified as a special gravity bomb, a freefall nuclear weapon. The aircraft was not required to have any defensive weapons. Vickers produced a six-engine jet bomber designed to meet the specification, but when more powerful jet engines were designed, the design was reworked to a four-engine proposal. The design was fairly simple, and was initially rejected for not being advanced enough. However Vickers' chief designer convinced the Air Ministry that the simpler design could be finished much sooner than the rivaling, more advanced designs. In April 1948, Vickers were cleared to proceed with the design, and in February 1949, two prototypes were ordered. The first prototype of the Valiant, or the Vickers 660 as it was initially called, made its maiden flight May 18, 1951, only 27 months after the contract had been issued. The second prototype made its maiden flight April 11, 1952. It had a modified fuel system and more powerful engines than the first prototype. The air inlets were more rounded, to allow more air to be fed into the engines. A third prototype, the B-2 version, was also produced. The B-2 was intended as a Pathfinder aircraft, which would fly at low level to mark targets for the main bomber force. The B-2 had a stronger airframe, and a longer fuselage that could fit more avionics. The B-2 prototype flew for the first time September 4, 1953. The B-2 would later be cancelled since the Pathfinder concept was considered irrelevant in the nuclear era. In April 1951, 25 Valiant B-1s were ordered into production. The first production aircraft made its first flight December 21, 1953, and the first production aircraft was delivered to the Royal Air Force February 8, 1955. The day of the delivery marked the date that Britain's V-Bomber Force entered operational service. The final Valiant was delivered in September 1957. The Valiant served as part of Britain's nuclear deterrent, but it was also capable of dropping conventional weapons, and was also used for reconnaissance and aerial refueling. In 1962, the Valiant squadrons changed to low-level missions, to avoid surface-to-air missiles. This led to increased air turbulence, that caused fatigue, and the Valiant had to be retired as early as 1965. On October 11, 1956, a Vickers Valiant became the first Royal Air Force aircraft to drop a British atomic bomb, during a test in South Australia. The Valiant would go on to be used for more bomb tests, until November 1958, when the British government decided not to perform any more air-delivered nuclear tests. The Valiant saw combat in November 1956, when it was used in the Suez Crisis to drop conventional bombs on targets in Egypt. However the results of the bombing was considered disappointing. When the Vickers Valiant was retired in 1965, 108 aircraft had been produced. 